welcome back to another FNL Fridays. My name is Teresa and I am here to talk all things fitness, nutrition, and lifestyle. Today I am pretty excited because I'm going to be talking about something that I really like and that is food. Today I'm doing a review of a few meatless chicken patties and um, these are something that are pretty much a staple in my diet. I have them every day for lunch with my salad and I'm a huge fan of one of these in particular. And so I wanted to just show you a couple of the different options that are out there and talk a little bit about their ingredients, their macronutrients, the taste, what they look like and what they cost. So if you're interested in um, trying these products out, then you'll have a little more information as to all of those things I just covered. So we've got four different kinds of chicken patties today and three of these are vegan and one of them is vegetarian because it does have egg whites in it. So if you are vegan or trying to only eat vegan, then only three of these are going to apply. The first one that we have is the Boca uh, original chicken patty and this, oh, you know what? I lied. This is the spicy chicken patty. <laughs> we also have the original chicken patty. Uh, I also have the spicy chicken veggie burgers from Sprouts. Now, I know that a lot of you, if you're, well, if you're not in California or Arizona, um, you may not have Sprouts, but there's probably other brands that are similar to this, but this is like a kind of a local um, grocery store brand. So this is the spicy chicken. And then the last one is kind of different. It's called corn and these are their soy free meatless chicken patties. Now, this is the only one that is not vegan because it does have egg whites in it. On that note, I wanted to go over the ingredients in each of these so you can kind of understand um, what they're primarily made of because they are kind of different. This is the corn meatless patties. Their first ingredient, which um, just in case you aren't familiar, the first listed ingredient on an ingredient list is the one that there's um, the most volume of. So basically the first ingredient is the main ingredient in something. Um, so this is mycoprotein. Now mycoprotein, if you're not familiar, and I was not familiar until I read this, but um, mycoprotein is basically fungus. So these are actually fungus chicken patties um, but yeah it says myco is Greek for fungi is completely soy free and meatless this is actually fungi based um, a lot of meatless products are soy based so this as I said before this is soy free it has no soy in it it's got myco protein wheat flour canola oil egg whites wheat starch um, milk proteins pea fiber whole eggs and egg whites uh, gluten, sugar, spices, and yeast. So it's got a nice little list of ingredients, but again, meat-free if that's what you're looking for and soy-free if you have an aversion to soy. On to the Sprouts Spicy Chicken. You can see right there, vegan. Um, these are not my favorite, <laughs> but I wanted to get them just to show you what they look like and what's in them. So. The ingredients here, this is um, a soy protein base. So it's got soy protein, sunflower oil, onion, bell pepper, pea protein, yeast extract, um, spices, garlic powder, rosemary, paprika. So again, this the main ingredient in this is soy. Then we've got the stars of the show. Now these are my favorite, um, particularly this one. I really like the spicy chicken. And this is Boca, this is the brand. Um, Boca does make other patties that are imitation turkey patties and imitation burgers. I believe their turkey patties are vegan, but their burgers are not because they do have cheese in them. So um, I also think these taste better, so I don't buy those. I only buy these. And I can say I have had friends who eat meat who try these, and now they buy them every week because they said they were so tasty. So taste test wise, I think these win. These are also soy based, so it says right here, soy protein patties down at the bottom. And ingredients wise, it looks like soy protein, wheat flour, um, corn oil, wheat gluten, yeast extract, sugar, spices, dried onions, vinegar powder. Um, 
so there's, I mean, there's plenty of ingredients in here as well. So I'm not saying that these are clean by any means. Um, they're totally processed, but again, this is just something I enjoy once a day. And um, I just think they taste really good and they satisfy um, my craving for some sort of like a burger or a patty. And I actually think the texture on these is, is really good. So uh, that's just how I feel about them. If you are looking to strictly eat clean, then these would not um, fall into that category. You'd have to, you know, maybe make your own plain soy or seitan patties. Now that we know the main ingredients of these, I wanted to go over the macros with you. If you are not familiar, macros include protein, carbohydrates, and fat. One thing as someone who eats mostly vegan is I do pay attention to my protein. Now I am not saying you need, you know, 150 grams, 200 grams of protein a day. I used to be that way. I used to try to eat 150 grams of protein a day um, because I thought I had to. I do not believe that anymore. I will say my body has changed slightly, but I think that's much more likely based in, in the fact that I stopped dieting and I stopped being quite so rigorous with uh, my nutrition. I kind of relaxed a little bit. So I don't think I lost a bunch of muscle because I started eating less protein or anything like that. That being said, I still do keep it in mind because I want to make sure I'm at least hitting a minimum that I'm comfortable with. We'll start with these two. Um, the spicy chicken has, so each serving I believe is one, yes, one patty. So this has 130 calories. It has 12 grams of protein, which is pretty decent for, for one serving. Uh, 13 grams of carbohydrates, of which only one is sugar, which is nice because, you know, sugar sneaks into a lot of foods, especially processed foods. And then four grams of fat. I usually have one and a half of these, um, with my salads, so I just cook it up and then I put them on my salad. So that would be 18 grams of protein that I get in one meal. Just for comparison, um, you know, an ounce of chicken has roughly five grams of protein. So if I was to have, you know, four ounces, that would be about 20 grams of protein, whereas here I'm getting 18. So it's not that far off protein-wise. Granted, excuse me, this has a lot more carbohydrates. So just something to keep in mind, but of course I balance that out in other ways. And then, um, the original chicken patty, this has 11 grams of protein, 13 grams of carbs, and 4 grams of fat, also 130 calories. So very similar here. For whatever reason, this has 1 gram um, less of protein, but to me, they're almost identical. <laughs> the Sprouts version spicy chicken patties, again, soy-based, uh, they have 11 grams of protein, 4 grams of carbs, and 6 grams of fat for a total of 120 calories. So between these two, either one of the bokas and the sprouts, uh, this has about the same protein, but it has significantly less carbohydrates, only 4 versus 13. If you are someone who's watching your carbohydrates for whatever reason, uh, this may be a better option carbohydrate-wise. Now, that being said, I'm not a huge fan of not necessarily the taste, but like the consistency of these. Um, these I find to be kind of mushy when you cook them. Now I've never grilled them. Maybe that would be different. I normally cook them on the stove um, and they're just a little like wet, like pasty almost. And that's not <laughs> what I really want to eat. Uh, these on the other hand, if you can see in the picture, they have like a breaded almost a breaded consistency, and that's actually correct. They do actually have like a breading on them, which is probably why the carbohydrates are a lot higher. All right, on to the last one, corn, the meatless chicken patties, soy free. So again, um, these are mostly fungi based, and the macros here, um, nine grams of protein, 20 grams of carbohydrates, seven grams of fat for a total of 170 calories. So calorie wise, these are the highest, protein wise, they are the lowest, and carbohydrate wise, they are also the highest. The only reason that I actually bought these was because I was curious and I've never tried them before. And I got them on sale. I think it was maybe like, I don't know, $4 and there's 12 of them in here. So it was like a really good deal. So can't pass up a good deal. Um, so I had to get these and I have tried them. Um, they do, they taste pretty good. I think this would be, you know, second place compared to the other 
the other um, two, the Boca and the Sprouts. Another important thing that I like to pay attention to, especially if it's relating to processed food, is sodium content. Sodium is typically used as a preservative. Of course, it also gives flavor. So a lot of times sodium, which is salt, is added for flavor and to keep uh, keep it fresh longer or preserve it longer. So the sodium on these, unfortunately, is pretty high. Um, the Boca Burgers, the spicy chicken patty, I believe is the highest. So for one patty, it has 590 milligrams, which is 25% of your daily value. So if you're someone who puts salt on your food or eats a lot of salty food, um, this is gonna be hard to fit in if you're watching your sodium because it's literally 25% of your, your sodium levels for the day. So that's something I do pay attention to. I don't add salt to any of my food. Um, and I also know that any of the processed foods that, I'm, that I eat have enough. So that's part of the reason I don't add sodium to anything. Uh, as for the original chicken patties, they have, oh, I lied. They have 640, so original has more sodium. So if you're a fan of original, sorry. Uh, so spicy chicken has a little bit less. The Sprouts Veggie Burgers for one patty, 370. So this is actually like almost half what this one is because this is 640 so this is this purple one is way up there uh this, this is 15 percent of your daily value and they're going based on less than 2400 milligrams of sodium per day so that's the percentage that they're getting last but not least corn has 350 milligrams so similar to the sprouts it's 15 percent of your daily value it looks like they're going based off of the same numbers um, so these two have the least amount of sodium, but in my opinion, these ones are the least appetizing. I never buy these anymore. I only bought them for this video. Uh, so of course I will eat them because I'm not going to waste them, but in my opinion, not so good. These are actually pretty tasty, but, um, again, the protein is the lowest and the carbohydrates are the highest and the calories are the highest. So again, not that I wouldn't eat them, but... I've basically found what I love and I'm sticking with it. That brings us back to the winners. These guys, the Boca chicken patties, spicy chicken, and original. For pricing comparison, these are kind of, ex they're very expensive in my opinion. But for some reason, Albertsons in San Diego always has these on sale. So I get two boxes for $6 and it's four patties in each box. So it doesn't last a super long time since I eat one and a half every day. But um, again, two for $6. If you can find them for less than $3 a box, that's a really good deal, just a heads up. These guys, I wanna say they were like $3.79 or $2.79. So um, again, it's four patties. So cheaper for sure, less expensive than the Boca. But again, to me, not worth it because I don't think they taste very good. And then this I got at, I got it at Grocery Outlet, which again, you may or may not have in your neighborhood but I think there's 12 patties in here and I think I got it for like $4 or $5. So price-wise, this was the best, but again, I wouldn't buy them in the future. Um, basically what I do is I just stock up on polka patties whenever they're on sale. I hope you enjoyed this and if you've tried these, I'd like to know which one's your favorite and if you haven't tried them, then I wanna know which one you think you would wanna try. Don't forget to subscribe to my FNL Health YouTube channel and that way you won't miss any new videos that I put out every Friday. Have an excellent weekend and I will talk to you next week.